News 15 at 6 begins with breaking news. We begin News 15 tonight with breaking news. The bodies of three people are found in a mid-city Lafayette apartment. Two men and a woman were shot and killed in what police are calling a triple murder. And authorities a short time ago announcing an arrest in the slayings. Tonight, News 15's Will Heron reports from the murder scene on South College Road with a look at what we're learning about the victims and their accused killer. Lafayette police have identified two of the victims today. One, 49-year-old Eric Green and 45-year-old Brandon Touche. There was also a female found dead in the apartment as well. The Touche family said that the last person to be seen with Touche was the suspect that the police have in custody, 42-year-old Chad Crater. This is video of the suspect Crater from February when police were called to the apartment complex after residents saw him walking around with a firearm. At the time, officers concluded he was doing nothing illegal. This is Crater's mugshot when he was arrested back in 2020 for attempted murder after he allegedly shot a man in the stomach while in Lafayette. He was supposed to have gone to trial on that charge last month, but he failed to show up and a bench warrant was issued for his arrest. In this picture, you can see that three men knew each other. On the left is Brandon Touche, in the middle is Eric Green, and on the right is Chad Crater. This was taken two months ago at the Evangeline Downs Racetrack and Casino. Green was a mental health therapist and also a professor at UL. Touche, at one time, worked for the American Cancer Society and was involved in putting together their annual gala. This is what Corey Andrews, who has lived in the South College condominiums for around eight years, had to say when he found out about the three bodies. It's terrible because this this area is usually quiet. You know, neighbors, they, they really stick to themselves. They don't usually have all kind of commotion. Lafayette Sergeant Robin Green says they're still trying to figure out a motive to the killings. So right now our investigator is out with other investigators talking to neighbors and we are trying to piece together what exactly happened. Again, police have yet to release the name of the female who was also murdered in the apartment. When we know that, we'll update you here or online. Out there, the 700 block of South College Road. I'm Will Heron, News 15.